Well I've had a bit of a go at this uh, and after the gasket came apart I had I found some um, Alamar I'll, I'll tell you all in a bit and the only reason I'm doing another video of it is because, uh, well I'll tell you in a bit let's see if it'll run first of all I'll, I'll tell you in a few minutes why. See if it'll run with the cover on. Um, I'm doing some video because, you know, depending how this works, we may or may not keep it like this, you see. So, really, to get some video while it's still working. So, 
I've had a bit of luck with this engine As you can see now there's very little difference between uh, the plug on and off when it gets warmed up it still needs nearly full choke but I'm not worried about that as you see I've had a bit of a play with the screw I tightened the head bolts up a bit they needed doing and the gasket broke actually so I've made a th uh, thick you know that thick spongy cardboard I made one out of that it's not the best I've ever done and I found some gasket cement and uh, we'll show you that and I'll explain a bit more and as I say that's why I've got s some uh, video of the engine running without the lead on well what you've just seen is all that engine will ever have to do and uh, I've had two bits of luck actually doing it, it although it was difficult um, just for those few minutes of running and it's taken all that time it's actually been worth it but uh, the plug that I made that insulation it does seem to be standing it the other thing is the engine has to run very rich it, so it runs very cool that's been another bonus and the other thing that the uh, cardboard like that that I made the head gasket with is standing it very well I thought it started about 30 seconds well you know I must have run it I don't know 10-15 minutes now I think something like that so you know that's been a bit of luck however doing this job um, it was here somewhere a second I had it a second ago here that's the original gasket and I was cleaning it up and you can see what's happened so I've made one out of this cardboard then I went to seal it up well I've got some Hylomar I've got two of that this is quite a, oh, three or four years ago I got some I've got some more and I bought two when I was doing my tractor Guess I needed them. Well, <laughs> where is it? Oh, I chucked it. Yeah, anyway, it's in. The, oh, yeah, I've got it. Right. I came to open the packet of a new one, brand new. It had a hole in it, and it's gone hard, unusable. So I went to the car where there was two more. What I'd used some a little bit on my tractor. I've got that left and I just managed to get enough just to cover that both sides and that's gone hard so you know um, I may or may not you can call it lucky or unlucky whatever you like so that's that bit anyway I found this carburetor I think it's got to be a little bit large actually to go in but it might go in and what the idea if when people have seen it running as it is that's the thing they'll soon get bored with that won't they we need to show them something else so get that carb or you can get smaller ones can't you off leaf blowers or something like that that's a bit big maybe and uh, I'll just show you inside the cover um, I want to get the right light switch because in here oh, that's on well this time anyway I need what I could do is but as I said we haven't done it yet so you've seen it now work so it's stopping like this for a while anyway Inside the head there, 
there's enough room if you grind the fins off you can get a very small plug and put in there that will free up this space here and if I get this carburetor which as I say might be a bit big um, yeah it would be that one well that wouldn't be there so there would actually be just and just enough room to get that in there wouldn't there just without that there there would actually be room to get that there make a I think it's the wrong way around but anyway it is but uh, make a very small inlet manifold and just drill into the inlet there and it would mount something like that just a piece of pipe going down that would be all it is and then a very small petrol tank there would just be room in there and I wouldn't make it very big uh, something really small it only wants old half a cup full doesn't it to run a few minutes to show it start up without the plug lead and without the carburetor all you have to do is run it and uh, stop it and of course being standard it would run a lot better and having a carburetor would mean that um, you could set it up to start and run and uh, then just start it up show it running stop it take the plug lead off and take the carbon tank off and start it up again and there will be plenty of petrol in a, a small bit of say two inch copper pipe something like that so but as I say you've seen it now works so I mean this might never be done just another idea of something I can do when people have seen it there we are so I think we must conclude that's now successful I'm sure you agree with me on that